Barnet 2, Boreham 1, Derby Day Light. Dean, what are your thoughts after that? It's a great game, wasn't it? Yeah, sending off, goals, dramaticness. So I thought we played an excellent first half. I felt we should have been stronger uh, in our convictions. We should have been in the lead at half time. We weren't. We spoke about it at half time, making sure we don't lose the game, trying to win it. And then we spoke about how we could overload them in certain areas as well. So full credit to our lads. A big melee obviously happened with a red card, two red cards obviously, one for both teams. And then they sort of, they sort of knocked their rhythm that did. And they got a goal within that period, just after that period. And then uh, we countered that by putting Hawley on for Woodsy. Hawley's a creative player and he's involved in getting the, the free kick for the, for, the, for the winning goal. So great imagination, great play from Ryan, great, for, uh, great finish um, and a brilliant day. Taking it back just to the first half, did have loads of chance in that first half. What did you say to them at half-time to keep their confidence and keep going for the second half? I just said good teams win these types of games. When things are really going, a few lads are a little bit rusty. Like Harry Pritchard played today, he's got flu, he's out there, he's coughing, he's spluttering, he's, he's played through the game. That's what we want, that's the mentality we need. Uh, that's the mentality that creates success. So full credit to, to Harry and all the lads. But it was massive at half-time. I just felt at half-time that, you know, we didn't want to do anything stupid. We were a little bit sloppy at times in the first half and then obviously we do something really crazy. and An incident happens, obviously, that uh, sort of changed the game. Derby days are always known for being feist, feisty fixture. Three red cards in this one. What was your view on the first incident with Nicky and one of their players? Look, I didn't see exactly what happened. There was a ma massive melee. Nicky's claiming he was bit, um, which is, there is a mark, a bite mark on his arm. I've seen it. Um, so, yeah, look, I just thought the referee could have controlled the game better. Forced half, there were several yellow cards, you know, clear breakaways, consistent foul, and they probably had double the amount of fouls we had on the, on the, on the foul count. Um, and at one stage, I think we had two yellow cards and they had none. So I don't think, well, we're not a dirty team, and I'm not saying they're a dirty team, but what I'm saying is there's a lot of fouls. When managing the game is so important for referees now, and I don't think you manage it particularly well. And finally, that the goal at the end, De Havilland, was that free kick got something from the training ground? Now the boys come up with that themselves. Good at managing. I say to them, express yourself. If you can see an overload, make it happen. And we've seen an overload on the edge of the box, and Ryan's just ghosted in, lovely. Good little set. I think it was Gormov's set, didn't he? A little reverse. And he's controlled the finish brilliant. Ryan's a top player, great kid, you know. He's he, everything we've asked Ryan to do, he's done. Uh, we said to him go out on loan, he went to Hayes and Yedden last year. It was a project for me. I love these type of kids, hungry, got desire, got quality. Um, I think that's his seventh or eighth goal of the season. So that's not bad return for a kid that's only twenty one years of age. So we're delighted for him and uh, him and his family, he's a, he's a great kid and uh, they deserve it and obviously delighted for our supporters. You know, they drove us through today, so there was like 15 minutes left and our supporters getting right behind us when it was one all. That gives the players a major boost, you know, so a lot of credit has got to go to our supporters as well. Have you ever been involved in a game with an ending like that before? Yeah, I have to be fair, I've done a lot of games. But yeah, look, great to win, it's always a great way to win, but it's a great sign, it's a good sign of a, of a team that can bring success, but we've got a lot of games to go. Um, so we'll enjoy this evening, enjoy our St Stephen's Day as we say in Ireland and uh, we'll go again, I'll we'll give the lads a couple of days off, we'll go again at Boreham Wood next week. And finally, amazing scenes of our supporters at the end, what's your message to them after yeah, tonight? I'm, apps, I'm buzzing for them, like I said before, in a lot of tough times here over previous years. We've managed to create togetherness, it takes time, it's not done over a weekend or a week, it takes time. and That comes from players giving their all, their players give their all and their supporters respond to that. Uh, it's, it's our job as a football, to, as the team, the management team, is to get the players to give their all. They've gone and done that and their supporters can see that. And uh, I'm just delighted for them, they can really enjoy, this, enjoy themselves tonight. It's, it's always great to win on, uh, on Boxing Day. Dean, congratulations, thank you for your time. Thanks.